Good night, everyone, and welcome back to the Nocturnal Corner with your flying host, Bat. Today, we're going to be doing another epic weapon showcase, this time with the Jewel, which is a rapid fire auto cannon that I believe you can only get from PAX. You can also, you know, of course, acquire it from the store if anybody is selling it, which I believe a lot of people are currently selling it because after they got their nerfs from when they first came out, they don't really perform as well and. It kind of showed when I was trying to play here today. Um, I'm, of course, I'm going to be showing you like some better highlights with the jewel, but it definitely was a harder weapon to use, especially with its lack of durability. It sometimes made it, it sometimes put it in a nightmare situation to where it was just a little too difficult, especially if somebody ran up on you and it was almost like you couldn't beat any weapon no matter what it was. It was. For a weapon that you have to drive around with, it seems like it would be better. And I'm not using a build like this, but something more like this, to where it's lined down like the staircase builds, or I believe they're called like banana builds, where you could like shoot from the side and acquire its perk. Because actually running in with like this dog build here that I'm going to be showing casing, it was a little nerve wracking to try to get it to be fully effective. However, surprisingly, this dog build, and you will see, it performed quite well. But, going in order, like we did last time, we're going to be showing first the 69 Jewel by the Godfather. This one using the Toronto with the three jewels and a bunch of twin wheels. However, I did not have this danger paint or two of the twin wheels so it's going to be a bare bones cabin with two apc wheels in the front instead next in the line we're going to see raft tail i hope i said that right by i i don't know how to say that i'm just going to call him dan by dan this one's going to be using more bigfoots with the favorite cabin and of course another set of three jewels this one actually did surprisingly well with the jewels as a dog. I, I was actually pleasantly surprised, but I feel like I got lucky, and the reason I say that is because of the nightmare experience I had with the jewel 8999 by Kevin705. I say that because this build, I believe, looks phenomenal. It is like a very pretty build with the Omni Wheels and the Harpy, which I think it, all together it just makes sense and it actually performed very well. The issue is just that when I was playing with this build, it just felt like I had no luck. Like, playing at this power score, it didn't seem like I was playing a lot of 7000s or around 8000s. It was, it was more like I was doing high 9s to 11s. And in that bracket, it seemed like everybody and their mother was wanting to use legendary weapons, and I just kept getting my butt stripped. It even got to a point to where my teammates, less than 30 seconds, were all just wiped, and it was just me, and I was starting to have my hate relationship with this game, as in I've said multiple times, I have a love-hate relationship, and I was definitely going, what the hell, Gaijin, why am I playing with players who have never played this game before, and just bought packs to get higher, because that's definitely what it felt like, especially when you saw some of their builds, which, honestly, I can't complain about that so much, because it's nice to see some uh, original crafts for once, instead of just meta all the time. However, it sucks when it's all meta on the enemy team and all the new, interesting looking stuff on my team. But, all three actually performed very well. These two, I didn't really have an issue with. Came to this one, it performed quite well, but it just seems like the jewel can't really perform very well at 9k plus. It just doesn't feel like it has the damage output, and it kind of feels like they tried to do this thing with epic weapons to where they think it can do high damage, it just has no health or durability. And it definitely was showing during my playthrough. Well, you're not going to see it here, but I was just having a nightmare experience with this weapon at the higher power score. But, despite all that, I finally, after about three hours, got two games I found suitable. So I do hope that you can hang upside down up there and enjoy the show. 
You have a great night, Bat Colony. See you next time.